center. Yadlowski steps up on the play and a smart move by him to get it ahead right wing to Meaver. Cross ice feed, wide open jerky in front, the scores! Tick, tack, goal! It's all started by the smart play by Austin Yadlowski to gain control. He gets the pass ahead to Colton Meaver. The cross ice feed comes to Durkee at the left circle. He tucks it back in front to a wide open Hayden Dawes who one times an in back door and the Barons have a beautiful marker are up one to nothing. Great job by Yadlowski. He reads the play so Great scoring opportunities. I think he'll capitalize next time. Barons win the draw. Left point Sawyer shoots off a glove. Rebound Bloom. Score! The point shot from the left side is a pretty good save through traffic by Martell. But that rebound bounces out to the right wing. There's Ryan Bloom with nobody near him to send that one into an open net and double the mob lead. We're not even five minutes into the game. Advances it to Matthew LaPointe. They go into the slot. Clarkson has a chance. He shoots in an amazing save by Jesse Gordichuk as Tanner Clarkson got a great chance. Gave it right corner to Miller. Miller curling right circle. Gave it high slot McNeil. Back to Miller. Top right circle. Skates in closer. Shoots and scores! Again on the power play with a quick wrister from the right circle. Looked to take a deflection in front, but that one was heading to the left side of the net no matter what. And a far side shot is Kevin Miller, his seventh of the year, and a 3-0 mob lead. Great to see the power play unit striking here for the mob. They're striking early with a whole lot of vengeance. It's Kevin Miller with a great snipe shot. He just waits, outweights everybody. There's a lot of screen in front of him. Chased down by Brayton Harris. Missed opportunity there. Now the Thunder have numbers down low. They feed one in front. It's one time wide left by Dylan Bradall. As the Thunder had three men down low. Gord Chivado absolutely exploding on the bench after some horrible positioning. That, that uh, category. Sonia behind the TV net. Harassed mercilessly by a couple of Thunder. Burning to throw a big hit on Kapelke. Sent him flying through through the air and down on the ice in the right wing corner. Burton trying to chip one free in the slot. Can't do it. It's taken back by Brayden Harris. What a nice color goal. He fed it side of the net. This is Miller putting one back in front. McNeil shoots. Pad save. Rebound Bloom shoots it wide with a yachting cage. Passes are illegal even in your own zone. Well, here we go. I like that. Now we got a fight. This is Connor McCallum lining up against Ty Bedick. Not sure about this one. Bedick's uh, heavyweight in this league, and here's McCallum going at it here at the red line. Getting a couple of right, hooks in on Bedick. One, two, three punches by McCallum. Bedick trying to come over top, lands a couple of right. Pounding over top of McCallum, who came back with a couple of hard straight rights to the face of Bedick. Now McCallum's jersey's up over his head. Lightman got to get in there, but they're not. Bedick comes, gets free with a couple of rights. McCallum can't see, but he's still getting right hands in. Finally, Bedick tackles McCallum down to the ice. And the Lions win. Finally get in there. Swing for the mob. Drop back to Sonia High slot. He'll put it back to the left circle where Aot jumps into Luca Rizia and he knocks him down on his back with another big hit. Their own end and saucer to the red. Malikas had a jam free by Clarkson. He'll carry into the right circle. Two on one. Cuts in front. Shoots. And he never got that shot away. It poke checked out of his reach by Jesse Gordichuk. One of the biggest threats tonight from DV. It's been number 21, Tanner Clarkson. As it's turned over by Gordichuk. Fed in front. Chipped in on goal. Gordichuk got back to save the last second deflection by Nathan. Burn jumps the route and pokes it over the thunder line. But back to get it is Luca Rizia. He had it taken away by Byrne. Drop back, Sonia, right circle. Shoots off a stick and rolls to the left circle. Sonia's got it again. Centered, Byrne, score! Oh, Byrne and Sonia, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Can't get the shot away, but then from the left side of the net, the perfect pass through the crease comes to Mitch Byrne at the right side of the net. Give him six goals in his rookie season and give the Barons a four to nothing lead. Okay, who got the pass right wing. And the Thunder overskated. Here's Miller left side. In front of Oz, he shoots his score! Turnover from Drayton Valley fires a tape to tape pass to his fellow Stony Plain native. Hey, you see this from Gordon He's up by five, and it's Cromwell, Tobin, and McCallum. As Cromwell shoots left circle, that's right on. Rebound, Tobin scores! They don't get 
a heck of a lot of power play time, but they'll get a heck of a lot more if they keep that up. 25 seconds into the man advantage. Alex Cromwell shoots from the left circle. The rebound comes to the former Thunder, Caden Tobin, at the side of the net. He's got his second of the season. The Barons are up six to nothing. Great start here in the third period. Is the 38 seconds to go as Aon uh, collided with somebody. Now we got another fight. Sawyer driving the gloves with Nathan Smith, and they're pounding each other with right hands like pistons. Sawyer knocks this helmet out, gets two, three right hooks in. Smith desperately trying to come back. Sawyer got him in the headlock and fired a couple more rights. He's got Smith's jersey up over his head, and Sawyer takes Smith down. Head coach of the Thunder, Mike Mueller, is just screaming at his team over on the bench. They have lost control. They've lost coordination. They've lost composure. And they're getting absolutely sent all the way back to Drayton Valley down Highway 63 with the Barons up 6 0. I think Patrick Law would even be impressed at the activity on the bench of the Thunder. We got a big old scrum down in the left wing corner. Still down and injured is McCallum. Cromwell, as uh, Kapelke dropped his gloves, Cromwell did not. Kapelke trying to punch Cromwell, and now Cromwell's going to drop his gloves. Kapelke definitely coming to, trying to come over the cover of the right, missing and missing. Now gets a few rights in. Cromwell, Johnson, another right from Kapelke, who jumps, just jumped Cromwell. Kapelke gets tackled down to the ice and pounded to the side of the head by Cromwell, who just holding him down there at the left wing circle. Again, after one embarrassing play by Kapelke, he then drops the gloves against Cromwell, who was eats to Bloom left corner. Bloom, curls to the left circle, fed side of the net, houches wide open, he shoots. What a save by Mitch Martell! Point blank on Jetlin out here. Step forwards to Aon, as just hauled down to the ice is Aon. And now another fight, Sonia is going to go with Harris. Here's Sonia, left uppercut, left hook, pounds! Harris down to the ice, they get back up again. Harris trying desperately to come over top with a couple of rights. Sonia connects with another left, and another. He's pounding the crap out of Harris. Another left by Sonia. Harris desperately trying to come back. He took a straight left to the face from Sonia, who tackles him down to the ice. Absolutely runs rough shot over Harris. As the Barons get it up the right wing, Houchers over the line to the half force. Fed one in front, tipped on goal by Miller. He scores! with the feed from the right half boards and Kevin Miller just gets a stick in the way tips it past the glove hand of Martell and lucky number seven for the Barons we're not even halfway through the third Kevin Miller continues to, to press hard offensively to burn right half boards to the mid blue line for McNeil fakes the shot gave it to burn one timer pad save big rebound line there Ayotte shoots he scores Five consecutive games. Danton Ayotte has found the back of the net. His sixth goal in that streak. And he matches the team's season high in goals. 8-0. Fort McMurray. Great job by Danton Ayotte. Not only does he draw the penalty to put his team on the power play, he's able to notch the Geno. Sports cycles it for Brennan Sonia. Sonia fed one cross ice. Misses Lolikas, but he got it off the boards. It shoots off a glove. Rebound. Kick to the stick of Sonia. Wrap around. He scores. For Brennan Sonia, and it's nine to nothing. Sonia just continues to have an outstanding game here. It's all effort. He picks up the puck behind it, grabs his own rebound, and creates a wraparound. Finds the back of the net for a great goal. Here at the right point is Hall. What do you like that for? It's return to Hall. Wrister through traffic, tipped over the net, and off the end glass. Hayden Dawes got to that. Shoved from behind into the end boards hard, and he's down and is injured, and there's no penalty on the play. What a game for the Barons. They have beaten the Drayton Valley Thunder, and they have beaten them up. It's Teets at the right point. Shooting, saved by Dig. It's merely academic now with five seconds to go. Neaver top left circle. Maybe one last shot, but he loses the handle on the puck, and the Barons have won a dozen 